Module 1.6, Velocity. Velocity is another word for speed. Technically, velocity includes direction, whereas speed does not. In this course, the only time we'll be concerned about direction is when we discuss the Doppler effect. Otherwise, we'll use the term speed and velocity interchangeably. Velocity simply refers to how long it takes something to move a certain distance. In other words, velocity equals distance divided by time, or v equals d over t. This is an important equation. I suggest keeping a special section in your notebook to collect important equations so you won't have to hunt them down later. Important equations and concepts will be presented in red and also in the review sections of each video. Let's do a velocity problem. In baseball, the pitcher's mound is 60 feet from home plate. If the pitcher throws the ball and it takes one second to reach home plate, what is the velocity? The distance is 60 feet. The time is one second. V equals distance over time, so V equals 60 feet over one second, or 60 feet per second. Let's convert that to the metric system. One foot equals 0 0.305 meters, so 60 feet per second times 3.05 meters per foot, canceling out feet, gives us 60 times 0 0.305 meters per second equals 18.3 meters per second. When solving equations, we always want to ask the question, does this make sense? If a meter is about 3 feet, 18 times 3 equals 54, which is close to 60, so the answer does make sense. The big picture, direct and inverse proportionality. Since this is our first important equation, let's talk about direct and inverse proportionality so that you understand what an equation is telling you without having to put in numbers. We say that two variables are directly proportional if they are both in the numerator or both in the denominator on opposite sides of an equation. If they are directly proportional, a change in one variable causes the same change in the other. Velocity is directly proportional to distance, they're both in the numerator. So if we increase the distance, keeping the time the same, we also increase the velocity. In other words, if the pitcher threw the ball farther than 60 feet in one second, the speed of the ball would be faster than 60 feet per second. On the other hand, we say that two variables are inversely proportional if one is in the numerator and the other is in the denominator on opposite sides of an equation. If they are inversely proportional, a change in one variable causes an opposite change in the other. Velocity is inversely proportional to time. Velocity is in the numerator. Time is in the denominator. A change in time will cause an opposite change in velocity. So, if the time for throwing the ball 60 feet increases, the speed would decrease. Here's another example. If a pitcher throws a ball at 90 miles per hour, how many seconds does it take to reach home plate? We have the distance in feet, and we need an answer in seconds, so we need to convert miles per hour to feet per second. One mile equals 5,280 feet. One hour equals 3,600 seconds. 60 times 60 equals 3,600. Make fractions to cancel out miles and hours. So we get 90 miles per hour times one hour over 3,600 seconds times 5,280 feet over one mile. That gives us 90 times 5,280 feet over 3,600 seconds equals 475,200 feet over 3,600 seconds equals 132 feet per second. So the velocity is 132 feet per second. V equals d over t. We are solving for t, so isolating the variable, we get t equals d over v. Distance equals 60 feet. 
t equals 60 over 132, which gives us 0.45 seconds. Does that answer make sense? In the first example, the ball traveled 60 feet per second. In this example, it's a little more than double the speed. Since velocity and time are inversely proportional, a time of 0.45 seconds makes sense. The speed of sound in air at 20 degrees Celsius, or 70 degrees Fahrenheit, is 343 meters per second. That's about 1130 feet per second, or about a fifth of a mile per second. Although that's fast, it's not instantaneous. To compare, light travels at 300 million meters per second, or 186,000 miles per second. Now that's fast. To review, velocity equals distance over time. Velocity is directly proportional to distance and inversely proportional to time. The speed of sound is 343 meters per second at 20 degrees Celsius.